guess who I am? <laughs> Just take a wild guess. I was a little insecure about my costume too, because I'm like, I don't have that thing that like sticks out of Penny's head. I thought it was baby hair, but it's not baby hair. Like it's 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 like a cowlick. I hope I'm doing the costume justice, and I hope I'm doing the painting and the characters justice. As you can see, we have La Cienega. We have Penny, and then we have. Let me see. I'm actually the worst. What's the other girl's name again? We have Dijonay Jones. We have Penny Proud. And then we have La Cienega Boulevardes. I try to add some new elements. I usually do that with my paintings. They usually have some form of 3D element or new element. Bringing memories from the past and inspiration from the past and cartoons we all love. And then kind of adding my own twist. So you see that she has an earring. She has an earring that I created as well. So does she, as well as the bubbles in her hair is um, actually paper that I cut, like specialized paper, glitter paper. And I tried to create bubbles and I outlined it. And then we have the 3D element of the flower that's always on La Cienega's head. I don't know how it stays. This print will be available on TianaHenryStudios.com. So you'll actually be able to purchase one for yourself. Come with me on this journey to paint this masterpiece. And I hope you enjoy it. Coming from Penny Proud herself. All right, let's get started. So let's get started. The first step to this painting, um, based on the idea that I had, was to add two lines of tape just to make sure it was clean in the end. This will help border up the picture and separate the characters. Then we have our reference photos on hand, so we make sure that the true essence and authenticity of the characters show through in the sketch and in the painting overall. We want to make sure it really looks like them, even though it is by another artist, it's still giving like the original characters. So now that we're done sketching, everything's in place, everything fits, everything's good, we can get started with our first character. Hi, Penny. Hey, you made it. Hey, Pinhead. Who invited her? La Cienica? <laughs> Come on, Penny, she's cool. <laughs> oh, look. If it isn't the proud twins, happy and nappy, that's BB and Cece. Isn't that what I said? You know, may I say on behalf of all of us, you don't look nearly as old as you really are. Well, thank you, La Cienega. I think. How can we party with Honeydew sleeping in here? It's Sugar Mama. Isn't that what I said? Party's over, everybody out. Oh, stop being a baby. Get in there and kiss your man. La Cienega was low-key Penny's off because why was she just always on her? <laughs> but um, you could tell that they low-key loved each other like siblings, like some sort of rivalry there. But we're going to get started on her hair. It was a mix of black and brown. It wasn't the truest black, but it wasn't brown either. So I made sure to do a good mix of those two colors and get like a dark brown type shade that matches her color in the show yeah and one thing about acrylic paint is you'll have to do layers so even if the first color doesn't show up perfectly or you know isn't 100 percent the correct shade you could always go in after it dries and make sure that the next layer is more accurate
we finish the first layer of La Cienega's hair, we're gonna get started on Penny Proud and make sure that her hair gets done and then go through a flow. So we're gonna be going back and forth between the characters for sure, just because it has to dry. There, there's a process to each one. So it's like, you might as well do one thing on one character then go back to do another thing on the other character. It makes it a smooth process when completing the whole thing. I say it's time we stand up for ourselves. Tell it, girl. I say it's time for a change. Yeah! And I'm not talking about that pocket change our parents make us sweat for. Yeah! I'm talking about grown-up money for grown-up work. Yeah! Because we've been tricked, hoodwinked, bamboozled. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. And we're mad as heck and we're not gonna take it anymore until they show us the money. Till then, nobody works. We're gonna shut this neighborhood down. Yeah! We're going on strike. Strike, 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 strike. strike. My girl, my girl, the activist. That's why I loved Penny. She wasn't afraid to say nothing.
So we're going to finish all the layers that need black. So that includes her eyebrows, her eyes.
We'll have to do the actual eyeballs later because there's a special process for that. So we're just going to stop here and get started on déjeuner. Hey, 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 déjeuner. Is that you, girl? What's up? What's up? You want to buy something? Who said that? Down here, girl. Look, oh, look like you need some diamonds to go with that gold hair, girl. Hey, your Penny's card. Uh-uh, not anymore, I ain't. Not Penny's card, I'm your card. Hey, hey, I'm feeling you. <laughs> so, Dijonay, <laughs> what you say we do a little shopping, girl? A little? I'm gonna max you out. Oh, thank you. Finally, a woman that understands me. Try to give me what oh, I want. Oh, 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 girl. Okay, she wasn't dumb. She was just gullible. <laughs> she was a kid. I loved her character. She was so cute.
first layer of her hair is finished and we're gonna bounce back to La Cienega. We're going to get started on their clothes. So you'll see she was wearing like a red cardigan and her undershirt or her t-shirt was pink. So we're gonna start on clothes, get that over with, try to master the colors.
So as we get started on faces, you'll notice that I'm trying really hard to stay in between the lines and keep it as clean as possible because when I get too messy, it just means I'm going to have to do more work later to clean it up and go around all the shapes that I drew already. So I'm trying to use those guidelines and, you know, take it seriously and make sure that I'm not creating too much of a mess, you know? This part might look a little crazy because I actually had to go over their noses in the painting just because 
it was too thin to go around it and I already know it fits I already know the dimensions are good so I'm like it's not going to be too much of a challenge to go in and just you know draw the noses in later and just make sure that the skin tone is as consistent on the face as possible like with the eyes and the mouth I even ended up covering her eyebrows because I realized she has the thinnest eyebrows out of all the characters and it just didn't make any sense to go around it so tightly like that took more time than just drawing it in later
Now that mostly everything is colored in with acrylic paint, we could start using our fine point pens, markers, liquid ink, anything you have that can give you more control on creating fine lines and darkening the features on the face such as the eyebrows, the eyes, outlining everything with black because in the cartoon they were all outlined. So we're trying to just get it as precise as possible by using a pen.
were outlined and ready to go. Now is a little bit of a complicated process. I don't know if I complicated it by doing this, but I took the cap of like a spray or something I had that was close to the shape of their eyeballs and I dipped it in ink. As you can see here, I messed up a little, but there's no worries because we could always go in and clean it up with white. So I was like, whatever, it is what it is. <laughs> but I was just trying to see exactly where I should put it, kind of like a stamp, just so I could really get a true circle and I'm not just using my hand to do it. I think it worked out. And then we'll just go in later and fill it in and clean up the lines. The eyes are now complete. Let's start adding 3D elements to the characters now.
We've super glued all that on. It's ready to go. So now it's time to take off the tape and reveal the borders. Clean it up. Okay, so Penny originally had one pearl earring that I was gonna give her, but I felt like the pearl wasn't big enough. So I just got a little bit innovative and I added kind of like a bedazzling around the pearl to create a bigger earring in itself. And I thought it turned out really pretty. Yay, we're finally done. The Proud Family featuring Dejeuner, Penny, and La Cienega. The video has come to an end. I appreciate all of you who has gotten to this part of the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my pages. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.